Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. A father vows to get his son a Turbo Man action figure for Christmas. However, every store is sold out of him and he must travel all over town and compete with everybody else in order to find one. Arnold Schwarzenegger is one of my favorite action stars of all time, if not my absolute favorite, because I've been a fan of his since I was a kid. But in this particular movie, he doesn't play a character running around with war paint, shooting rocket launchers, throwing motherfuckers through walls. He's a family man in this movie. He has a wife and a son, and uh, he works a lot. He's a business guy, which on one end is good because he provides for his family. But on the other end, you know, they getting tired of him breaking his promises and not being around as much as he should. Like the wife wants more dick. The son wants his dad around. You know, his, the son wants like when his dad. Uh, when Howard's son's like, hey, you gonna be there, dad? And then Howard's just like, yeah, I'm gonna be there. And the motherfucker don't show up. That's messed up. So think about it like this. Howard's son be like, dad, are you gonna be there for the baseball game later? I, I, like, I'm the best player and I want you to see me win the championship. Oh, don't worry, son. I'll be there. Motherfucker don't show up. Dad, are you going to be there to watch me earn my next belt in karate? It, it's, it'll mean so much to me if you're there. If you don't show up, I'll end up thinking about taking my own life. Are you going to be there, Dad? Don't worry, son. Not only will I be there, but I'll be there first. Ha ha ha. And then the motherfucker don't show up. So the son is at the point where he's like, man, fuck my dad. Like, he don't hate him, but he just hates that he doesn't keep his promises and he don't be showing up. Then, of course, Howard's wife, she don't like to see uh, their son all sad and shit. Like, I'm pretty sure most moms, they don't like to see their kids sad, especially when their sadness is linked to the father fucking up. You know, I, I picture a lot of females out there. They're not liking that shit. You know, you got to do right by the kids. Like, I feel like the, the father, he could be fucking up in so many places in life. But if he does right by the kid or the kids, I feel like, you know, a lot of moms out there, they will appreciate that. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Who knows what humans, they got all these emotions and shit. So Howard talks to his wife and he's like, baby, I got the best idea. It's going to make me the greatest father of all time. Like, I, I'm going to be dope. Like, you, you, you trust me. What is it, baby? You know, and then and he's like, look, check this out. Check this out. I'm going to get our son a Turbo Man action figure. Remember how the other day? Remember the morning when he had the Turbo Man pajamas, the Turbo Man cereal, and he was watching the Turbo Man cartoon? I'm going to get him a Turbo Man action figure. That's the thing that all kids want. And if I get that for my son, water under the bridge. I'm the greatest dad ever. Oh, that's great, honey. You know, and that sort of thing. And he's just like, yeah, I, don't worry, baby. I got this. You know, he goes to sleep and stuff. You get a little passage of time. And Howard forgot to get the... The, the turbo man action figure and then he was just he got dressed real quick and he was getting ready to leave the house and then you know his wife was just like where are you going baby and then you know he's just like oh uh yeah you know i left the, uh, the turbo man action figure at the uh, at the workplace on the desk and I'm, I'm gonna go get it real quick oh, okay don't forget we're family christmas time you know that sort of thing you like yeah yeah don't worry baby i'll be right back you know it's gonna take me like maybe 10 to 15 minutes nothing too crazy this motherfucker was gone for a long time, and his wife and son were getting suspicious, like, damn, don't fucking take that long to go pick up no fucking Turbo Man action figure, and you left it on your desk at your job, but, you know, he procrastinated, and now they're all sold out, with the exception of, like, two or three on the entire planet, and, you know, you got these other humans out there that were dumb as fuck, too, that waited to the last second, including Sinbad's character, Myron, and Myron is batshit crazy, but it's in a fun way, like, He's that type of human that you don't want to bring with you when you're doing holiday shopping because if he wants the same item as you and there's only one left, I feel like he's that type of human that would kill you just to get it. So, so that's what I mean. But you have Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sinbad, Phil Hartman. You got a lot of talent wrapped up in this movie. And this Turbo Man action figure in the context of this universe is like the best toy ever. Like think about all the toys that you've had like growing up video games and different stuff all that shit don't matter compared to the turbo man action figure like motherfuckers willing to kill over this toy like it's crazy and if you don't have this toy as a kid especially if you're a boy oh man your reputation is in the toilet it's flush the toilet destroyed 
your fucking life is over if you don't have a Turbo Man action figure. And I was like, damn, that's fucking crazy. I, I hope he gets this Turbo Man action figure on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing. I'm going to give this movie... I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. You know what I'm saying? It's all right, but it's enjoyable. Nice little Christmas movie. Just the idea of like what a parent is willing to do for their kid just to make their kid smile, especially if they feel that, you know, in some way they have failed as a parent, you know? So you got like these different themes of family and Christmas and kindness and, and just wanting to put a smile on your child's face. Now, I don't have no kids. I'm glad I don't. I don't want no little bastards running around, but kids are precious to humans, and that's okay. You know, everybody could do their own thing, but kids are not for me. Because I tell you what, if I had a kid, a son, a daughter, and they said they wanted something, and or if I say I'm going to be there, I'm not going to be like the Howard character, be like, I'll be there, daughter. I'll be there, son. And then I don't fucking show up, and I keep doing that over and over. No, that's how children grow up to be serial killers when their parents lie to them. Thank you for being here, human. You be sure to like this video and share it with the humans you know. And then you punch the shit out of the subscribe button to join the Terrence family. I'm trying to think if we had like an equivalent of the Turbo Man action figure in real life. Nope. And until next time, Terrence out.